I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good morning, Long Branch High School. My name is Nick Rodriguez. My name is Jason Lopez, and here's today's news. This month, we celebrate Women's History Month. The visual and performing arts class combined their talents and created a beautiful display located in the library. We had the chance to go there and interview a few of the participants about what it means to be a woman in today's world. To be a woman in this society is like hard because I feel like the guys judge us from what we wear and like not us and like deep down inside. As a woman that people shouldn't sexualize or see you as different just because you are a woman. The focus of my project was how social media affects um, our body image and how we portray ourselves because we're constantly comparing ourselves with what we see um, in like posts that we like on Instagram or Snapchat. Uh, my project focused on the unrealistic standards that women are held to. I focused on how society portrays m women and like how we feel. I focused on beauty because we are all beautiful and no matter what your body shape is, how your face looks, you are beautiful no matter what. Um, my project, I focused on myself as a woman. My project mainly focused on people seeing who I really am or who women really are instead of just seeing what's on the outside. My project focused on being enough and telling yourself that you're enough and don't let nobody ruin your confidence. You have your own confidence for a reason and you should take pride in it and that know that you're beautiful. Uh, the focus of my project was women being expected and act, like expected to act a certain way, or expected to look a certain way, and expected to behave a certain way. And it's just unfair in today's society and women should focus more on being themselves and standing up for themselves and being who they are and not looking on others' opinions. A woman in America or any, you know, like around the world, we are, we are looked at as objects or things to be played with and we're stronger than that and we're smarter than that and we need to show everybody how strong and smart we are. Today marks the beginning, the beginning of our story. Women's suffrage is about feminism, but feminism is about fairness. I think it is right that socially I am afforded the same respect as men. The fight for the right to be free, to be equal. It is through human dedication and effort that we move forward. Although we weren't able to shatter that highest, hardest glass ceiling this time, thanks to you, it's got about 18 million cracks in it. I just want to thank you so much for your courage. Thank you so much for your womanliness. Thank you so much for your strength. Thank you so much. Let us continue to honor all that is beautiful about being feminine. Let's march together through this darkness and with each step know that we are not afraid that we are not alone. We are mothers, we are caregivers, we are artists, we are activists, we are entrepreneurs, doctors, leaders of industry and technology. Our potential is unlimited. We rise. Long Branch Recreation is hosting an open gym come out for free open play including basketball, soccer, kickball, wiffle ball, flag football and more. Monday will be for students in the first through third grade, Tuesday will be for fourth and fifth grade, Wednesday will 
be for middle school students and Thursday will be for high school students. And now for some hallway trivia. Hi, my name's Brio, and today I'm here with Josiah, Connor, Hicks, Jorge, Juan. Rosie the Riveter was the star of a campaign aimed at recruiting female workers for defense industries during which war? World War II. Uh, World War II. World War One. World War II. World War II. In 1993, Carrie Schuler became the first woman drafted to which sport? Baseball. It's gotta be basketball. Tennis. Basketball. Golf. Just a reminder, applications for local scholarships are due April 1st. If you have not done so, please check the guidance website for updates and directions on how to apply. Green Wave Esports Spring Trials are happening now. Rocket League, 2v2, Super Smash Brothers, League of Legends, and Valorant are the games for this season. If you want to play and compete in tournaments, stop by room 233 or sign up on Remind at Esports LV. And now for a message from our MCI classes. March 21st is World Down Syndrome Day. Down Syndrome is a genetic condition where people are born with an extra copy of the 21st chromosome. This is also why the 21st of March was chosen to celebrate it. Despite their challenges, people with Down Syndrome can go to regular school. Make friends! I join life! and get jobs when they are older. In some cases, they can even go to college. On March 21st, people with Down syndrome and those who live and work with them organize and participate in activities and events to raise public awareness and create a single global voice advocating for the rights, inclusion, and well-being of people with Down syndrome. On March 21st, we <laughs> Soft, are they like to help raise awareness? Make sure you support. Don't forget to wear your crazy socks March 21st. And that's it for this week's news. And have a great Green Wave weekend.